An item that is frequently seen on the desks of science teachers, particularly chemistry teachers, is an item called the balloon and the flask. This particular demonstration item uh, is one that can frequently be used as a challenge to your students. What uh, is, is done is to show the students the balloon and the flask and ask them how it was accomplished. Or better yet, to give them the challenge and say, do it. Tell me how to get the balloon in the flask. The common answer for many of them is, well, you just put the balloon in the flask and you blow it up. Well, of course, we know that that doesn't work because there's air already in there, and as soon as the balloon is inflated, you can't get any more in. Other students might suggest that you take a soda straw, put it in the flask, and draw the air out while you're blowing the balloon up. That's great until you pull the straw out and then it's going to collapse because you've got to get the mouth of the balloon over the top. Now, what I have here is I have a flask, and in the flask we have, whoops, I want to turn the right one on, uh, we have some water. This is simply uh, distilled water or tap water. Uh, it doesn't matter. The distilled water doesn't create any uh, mineral deposit. And what we do is because the flask is already filled with air, we want to purge the flask of the air and replace it with water vapor. So we're going to allow the flask to, uh, the water in the flask to boil. Uh, as it boils, uh, the steam will take the place of the air that is in the flask. I will then take the balloon and with my asbestos fingertips, I will stretch the mouth of the balloon, put it over the mouth of the flask, at which point I have trapped a volume of steam or water vapor inside of the flask. Now, when that is done, I will then pick the flask up and put it into a container of cold ice water off to the side uh, here, and the atmosphere will push the balloon into the flask. Remember, the balloon is being pushed in. It is not being pulled in or sucked in, which is what students like to say. Now that the water is actively boiling, I can use those asbestos fingertips and I can put the mouth of the balloon over the flask, lift the flask off of the table, place it into the ice water bath so that I now condense and with a little bit of help from Mother Nature and science and a little bit of air pressure, we are able to see the balloon in the flask. And that's how it's done. So a very simple demonstration. And this is a very nice item to leave on your desktop for students to ask questions about. And believe me, they will ask, how did you do that? And you can suggest to them, as I say, try it. Go home and see if you can put a balloon into a pop bottle. They don't need a flask. They can do it with an ordinary pop bottle.